All right, people, I want to be very, very clear about how to do this glitch. So I think we all understand where I am right now. The heist just completed. All right, I'm outside uh, Mini Madrazo's uh, compound, I guess you say. They used to put us out down at the end of the driveway. I don't know why they put me all the way up here this time. Kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> all right, different place altogether, it looks like. Must have been destroyed. Right. So, definitely not going to do this in a public lobby because we got dickhead fucking griefers in here. Can't even get out. God, I hate this game for griefers so much. Literally, don't play this game at all anymore because of griefers. So, <laughs> I'll keep making these videos to show you guys how to do stuff in the game because I know many of you guys still enjoy it. For me, it is entirely hey, spoiled me, because of griefers. Completely garbage game now. It's like Red Dead Online. Used to be so much fun to go on and do your things and be a cowboy, but then people got on and all they care about is griefing other other players. That's not fun to me. I don't want to play that. I'm not looking for a battle royale in an open world map, right? Luckily, the uh, the counter, the in-game counter for Pavel to call us back to restart this this uh, heist, uh, doesn't stop or reset or anything if you change sessions or find a new session or leave online. So there's no damage done actually. All we've gotten to is a private lobby, so we don't have to worry about griefing while we're doing this. Because yes, every grief, every respawn takes time, and we don't have time if we're trying to do this glitch just don't have it so I don't actually know if it helps but hearing or having the game tell you that Pavel will call you when it's ready seems to kind of <laughs> in my opinion lock it in a little bit it doesn't probably doesn't really you'll see that message at the top of the screen says Pavel will contact you when it's ready again I like to see that then Pavel will eventually when he starts getting close to calling you will start talking about how he wonders what uh, El Rubio is doing right now, and if you listen, you can probably hear him screaming. That's like right before he calls you back. So what I do is kill time. All right, just kill time. It's all I do. In this particular case, we're gonna go to the casino to do our free spin. That should be just enough time. Then we'll have um, to get back to the socket to start the glitch. But my goal was though was I want you guys to see how it happens from the beginning, like from the point of completing the previous heist, how to get the hard mode reset glitch working. Um right right off the bat, like how to do it correctly from the beginning. That is not the correct heist. The first text we get from Pablo, and that it's beautiful all over again. This is usually comes within minutes of completing the first heist, so this is the first indicator that the countdown's kind of started, in my opinion. Um, five to ten minutes from this point is when you get the next text. So whatever you want to do for those five minutes, for about five minutes, go kill some time, go do something else. Personally, I always come and do my free spin. This is the time that I do it, it's between heists.
People love parking my valet helicopter. Valet parking my helicopter. <laughs> Oh, that is a hideous car. But we gotta try and win it, of course. Look at those the pants. And resort presents a brand new car available oh, they definitely today. changed the outfits of people in here because no one was wearing those pants before. I would have noticed that. Yeah, Lee. A bunch of outfits changed, actually. Always get your free thousand. Continue Wait for the indicator at the top. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and slow down. And mystery. Boom! What's it gonna be? Oh, we got 50,000. Okay, that's not terrible. I love that mystery prize because I've gotten a car, <laughs> I've gotten a candy bar. <laughs> you never know what spin that wheel is actually about for me. All right, we're about halfway there. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this thing back out of here again. Huh? That'll be fun. Never actually tried that. Look at that, we did it! <laughs> uh, that's great. I'm gonna start heading back towards the Kosaka and hopefully we'll get the call shortly. For the text I mean. So what I used to do is I used to head over to my office building to get snacks. But one of my viewers let me know you can get snacks on the Kosaka, so <laughs> I don't do that anymore now. That used to be my a time killer. Go get my free spin and then go to the office building to stock up on snacks. Now the assistant doesn't have a job at all. Now, it used to actually also be that Pavel would not text you if you were inside the sub. He actually had to leave the sub for him to text you, but I think they've changed that. What you got to say, Pavel? Not the thing I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear him start talking about. I wonder what's going on with Madrazo. Not done that yet. Bye. I don't know if this does anything, but it seems to me that initiating transitions, like leaving the Kosaka, getting back in, going into a building, getting out. Um, Things that transition you from one map to another map type thing, they seem to speed it up a little bit, but that could just be my wishful thinking. I don't know. Let's verify we have not gotten the text yet. This was the first one that we got, and this one came in. Actually, it was the other way around, wasn't it? Either way, it's not the one that we want to hear yet. Nope, not it either. It should be any minute now. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna let this go on in real time until the text actually does come in. Oh, look, there it is. I think that was less than five minutes. So here's what we do. Right now, 
start the timer in your mind or actual timer for 48 minutes. So what I've got, let's see here. For me, it is now one o'clock on the dot. It was 12, 59. I'm gonna say it's one o'clock. So I have until 1.48 to try to do this glitch. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna set it up in hard mode first. Now I have a hard mode glitch. No, a hard mode heist began. So first things first, we have to do a gather intel. Let me see, I'm in the invite only, so I'm safe. So this is the, the, the one tedious part of this uh, heist. Not really part of the glitch, it's part of the heist having to do this scope out. So what we do is we get close enough up here to where the, the plane is. So I guess. And we have to do the full on fly across the island to the scope out. So bear with me with that one. I will fast forward when I get to that point and I'll catch you guys when I get back to the submarine afterwards. So we should be near Polito Cove so we can stand up and head over there. So if you want to be slick or have some fun <laughs> while you're doing this there's a way to take out the people guarding the plane with a guided missile if you have it on your Kosaka see if we can get it pretty much straight ahead and I saw a flashing light there for a second so I'm assuming that's where it's at now the goal is to hit the vehicle not the plane, right? So I'm gonna hit close to the vehicle and hopefully not hit the plane too close. These missiles have a pretty large explosion area, so it's likely the plane got blown back a little bit. As long as we didn't blow it up completely, we should be good to go. Leave a comment below if you think that the, the flying the plane is also your least favorite mission in all of these uh, missions in the game. Like I've played every heist and every <laughs> every conceivable way of doing them. This flying that plane for that long with nothing happening around you is so boring. And doing it in a in an open lobby with people trying to take you down the whole time just makes it ridiculously tedious. how two and two makes a bullet but okay apparently bullets are four all right Turn this tree right here bring through this gap on the right side of that foam pole between these two trees. Full speed now, full speed now. For this clip. What a just barely. Side of the car so you don't run in front of that camera. It's worth it. <laughs> Alright, there's a guard down below, so be a little bit quieter coming over this fence, but you can still hop it. The signal box will have moved since you were last here, Habitan. Upstairs, downstairs. You will need to look around. If the guard is downstairs, the box will always be up on top of the tower somewhere. If there's no guard standing down there, then the box will always be on the floor somewhere. Try to prepare yourself as you're, as you're headed up to it. If you didn't know, Holding down X makes you climb a little bit faster. 
tapping X doesn't work, <laughs> just hold it down. not the pink diamond the first try so I can show you guys how to do this reset that's the ticket Fingers crossed we don't get it. Let's have a look in the vault room in the basement. We'll be the only person hoping we don't get the pink diamond on the first try. Or the Black Panther if it's part of the game while you're doing this. I don't believe it is for me. You see that? In the display Ruby necklace. Case, want a necklace. Want no need to scope out anything else because we're going to be doing the reset. So we'll let uh, Pablo finish talking about how to get through the case. And then we find a new session. Hmm. Getting through the case will be a challenge. Use the wrong tool and you destroy what is inside. I will do some research. That's the line. I will do some research. I'm gonna come out here and find a new session. Alright, <clears throat> so phase one of the glitch is now complete, right? We did our scope out in hard mode and got a target that we don't want. So, if you're in hard mode, right, Pablo texted you, you started a heist in hard mode, you completed the scope out mission, got a target you don't want, step number one, find a new session. That's where we're at right now. So, Ruby necklace locked into the table, right? We don't want the necklace, we want the diamond. Um, Actually, I'd probably recommend staying with the necklace. It's decent enough, but you want something better follow along, right? So we're gonna continue on here To change this necklace to something else we have to gather Intel again and We have to cancel the heist before we start the Intel scope out because what's happening here is the game is gonna be confused and It's gonna cancel our Ruby necklace in favor of a new scope out but because we're canceling the scope out on the way to the scope out, I know it sounds confusing, the game's gonna start us on a brand new scope out. You won't have to fly the plane. That's the main thing here. So there's no plane flying again. And we're gonna go right to the island from here. So we fly over to the hangar to re-scope out, right? This is where the game messes up. So, if you land on that dot right now, we'll go back to the island and continue the same scope out to find secondary targets aside from the ruby necklace. To do the glitch now, he, we're gonna call Pavel. Only one option will show up here. Cancel the heist, right? Clutch. Yes, cancel the heist. Now, funny thing, the heist is canceled, but you notice that dot's still there and it still says go to LSIA. This is where the glitch is now started. The game is confused. It's on that blue dot right there, by the way. The game now has given us a whole new scope out without a scope out. Right, so it, it, it's obviously messed up right now. We should have to fly the plane again after canceling the heist. But because of the game being glitched, we're taking advantage of this exploit here and using it to skip to flying the plane again. Now. In my experience, doing this always results in the tequila on this part. So no matter what you had the first time, if you find a new session, cancel the heist and do the scope out again, it will be the tequila every single time. At least that's in my experience. So don't panic. If you went from something like the necklace to the tequila, it's worse. It's only part one of this glitch. The next part will start you cycling through it to get what okay. you actually want. So, patience. They will bring it soon. Go on. 
though. The first clue, clue that this is actually a new scope out is that that motorcycle is there again. Right? This is this is how you know. If this were the same scope out, that bike would be where I left it. I'd have to go get the other one over there. But it's back, right? So we're gonna do the same thing right across this island again. But the cool thing here now is that we're on a whole new scope out. And we're gonna get the tequila. It seems to be some kind of default placeholder. I'm not sure why. I'm assuming that when they programmed it, they programmed it with the tequila being the default. Then you have a chance of cycling in a different prim prim primary target. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. We're going to default it and then cycle through the targets on the second part of this glitch. Look at all those cars, man. They want to catch me today. <laughs> Not always slick. As long as you don't drive in front of the camera or through a vision cone, you're kind of okay. You don't have to be too perfect or exact at this point. You just don't drive into something, right? Now, sometimes a... Uh, that was close. Sometimes a car will spawn coming down this road right here. You may have to get off the road quickly. But we've been lucky today. The car did not spawn at the tower this time, so we can be noisy if you want to. And because the guard's not down there, that means that the box is on the ground floor. And there it is, straight ahead. So no climbing tower. Again, this is a way to show you that this is definitely a different scope out now, right? It's not, it's not in the same place. Everything has reset. Let's see if I can solve this stupid puzzle. 48, so 40, six, 48. All right, now, like I was saying, without fail, <laughs> this has always been the tequila for me. And I know it's kind of like a, a blow <laughs> to trade something like the ruby necklace for the tequila. But remember, this is only halfway through the glitch. We're not stopping here. We're not going to settle for this tequila. So, all right, tequila. Because it's behind the glass, it's gonna be the same thing coming from Pavel. Hmm, getting clues will be a problem, right? So wait for him to say, I will do some research, find a new session. Almost. I will do some research. Okay, that was the line. I will do some research. I will do some research. It was great. <laughs> so find a new session and the game will do the same thing. So anytime you find a new session or disconnect from the game while you're on Cayo Perico, the game will respawn you near the airport because they assume something went wrong and you want to complete the scope out, right? So yay for us, less travel time. What's gonna happen now is because this glitch is now set, there's no more scoping out required. You don't have to do any more flying the plane, any more driving across the island, none of that. We did it twice to start the glitch. Now we've gone to the part, gotten to the part where we're gonna to start to recycle the target. And this is the easy part, but also slightly frustrating. So what we got, we're now at 123. So I've been doing this for 23 minutes. Remember I started at one o'clock on the dot. So I've got 25 minutes left to do this. That's plenty of time, people, plenty of time. So here's what the steps are now. Um, this is really where things get important. Like the first two steps are so easy, right? Find a new session, rescope out, cancel the heist. Let's go by it again. Easy peasy. This is where you can really mess yourself up. You must create a save. People in the comments of my previous video were having problems and I know it's because of this part right here. So please pay attention people, look. The tequila's locked on the table. Captain. 
It doesn't say hard mode, but it is. We're still within the 48 minutes, so trust me on this. It says tequila, doesn't say hard mode, but we can start up another mission. So before we do that, create a save. Notice I did not touch the table, right? I came in, I looked at the table, I didn't start it. I'm gonna go to inventory, I mean to style here. I'm gonna put on a different accessory. Look at the bottom right of the screen. That orange spinning wheel means that cloud saved. Important. Now when we start the heist, look, hard mode starting over again. We're still in the 48 minutes. And the tequila, which was at 900,000, is gonna change to something else. If it reselects the tequila again, it should be 990,000 because we're in hard mode and that's the clue that it changed. So let's see. Boom. Tequila came up again. But look, it jumped up $90,000 in value. That's because it cycled through a hard mode target. So because we got the save, what we can do is we can long press home, close the game, and go right back into the game again, right? Now, I now have 23 minutes left to do this. So just to recap now, start a, start a heist, do the scope out, you got a target you don't like, find a new session, do another scope out, cancel the heist before you get to the yellow dot, complete the scope out, find a new session again because it will be the tequila, save before you access the table, close the game, reload the game. And then you're right back at the beginning again. Now, when you load back into the game this time, the heist glitch is set. So to cycle through targets now, it's start a heist by paying for it, 25,000. See if it's what you want. If it's not, close the game, load back into it, try it again. Do not save the game again at this point. This is key now, all right? So I'm gonna get there. Load an invite only because it loads a little bit faster, right? You don't have to load into uh, other people. When I get to the table this time, key, key is that you do not save again, right? You only save once before starting it after the second scope out. I know this is really confusing because there's a lot of moving parts to this. I'm gonna recap it again at the very end of this video with all the steps, so hopefully you guys will get it 100% this time. But here we are. We're back on the Kosaka. My respawn point is the Kosaka, by the way. That makes this a whole lot easier. You don't have to have that, but if you want to do this quickly and save time, go ahead and do that. So, now I swear this is where, where people tend to mess up. Either they didn't save after the second time, right? Or they save again now, right? You don't want to save now. The game is already saved in this state. This is what we want. Don't save again because you're going to override the glitch. So once again, I'm not going into style to change something. Do not do that. You're going right to set it up again. So change the target one more time. Tequila again, right? We don't like it. Close the game. Now, I'm going to speed this up a little bit, guys, so you don't have to wait with me through this. I have another 23 minutes to go through this. And I want to, I'll keep it slow enough so you guys can see what, what the target is each time, but I'll stop when I get something good, okay? See you then.
Okay, so we've verified that the glitch is still working. I had my mic muted here, so I'm gonna be dubbing over top. So the glitch works. We switched from the tequila to the pink diamond like we wanted. Well, in truth, we, we uh, actually switched from the necklace to the diamond through the tequila many times, but this is what, what we wanted to get to. So now a couple options you have here. You can either accept this as it is and continue with your heist preps and then go and do the finale. Or if you have to know what your secondary targets are, you can do something else. You can do another scope out. So you could at this point access the table, choose gather intel again, and what you'll do this time is you'll fly to the airport again because like like the uh, previous time the game thinks we lost connection or left from Cayo Perico on the scope out so we're near the airport. We're going to go back to the airport again, continue the uh, scope out mission this time as opposed to canceling and starting a new one. And what this will do is it'll show us what the secondary targets are. Uh, so in case we're going back with another person, we can get all of those. Um, truth of the matter is though, when you're playing this solo, you don't need secondary targets. So you don't really have to worry about what they are. You run in, you get the primary target and you leave again, quick as that. For those of you who are playing with other people or are setting this uh, up for the back to back glitch with other people, you may want to know what your secondary targets are. So for that, you just follow along here and we're going to fly back to the airport again to continue the scope out this time, not cancel, right? So while I'm flying to the airport, I'm just going to land on the dot as usual, will not be canceling this time. That is key, everyone. A cool thing that happens here that we're going to be able to see is the second cool part about this glitch is when we get to the island because we've already been to the island according to the game like we had the primary target locked the game thinks we've been to the island thinks we've made it across the island past all the checkpoints into the tower to spot this pink diamond now i have not actually seen this diamond so there's a cool little thing that happens here when we land we won't have to do anything other than open the phone go to the sightseer app and complete the scope out on the other rooms of the compound you'll see what i mean here when we get there in just a second just follow along with me and remember that when we're going there this time we are not canceling the heist truth be told i have no idea what i'm saying here um i was pretty sure is still talking about the benefits of not having to scope out again once you get to the island because of how the glitch works but you'll see here by, by my face that I realized that I've been talking into a muted microphone for the past five minutes and I'm a little bit peeved debating doing it all over again but I will not as you guys can see what we want to do is you want to head to the airport over here guys fly to the yellow dot do nothing different okay oh my goodness All right, so if this were any other time in the glitch, I would be canceling the heist now before I got on that dot. But because I got the thing I wanted, I will not be doing that. <laughs> this part is just to show you guys how to scope the secondary targets if you care to. All right, like I said, I don't do this. I don't care what secondary targets are. I'm doing the solo. I'm not going to be getting anything else. But that's not everybody's bag. On the dot. Okay, before I blow myself up, let me just walk onto it. The helicopter will blow up on you. <laughs> Alright, now, cool part when we land on the island, huh, I'll show you how the glitch helps you a second time. This is where it gets interesting. The game thinks we've been here before, 
already scoped out and have seen the primary target. But mind you, the bike's still there. So this is clearly a glitch. The island doesn't know we've been here. The game thinks we have. So this is where the glitch helps you out again. If you do care about secondary targets, look at this. Open your phone, go to Sightseer app, and just check. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to ride across the island. You don't have to pass checkpoints, none of that. All you do is you go through the things. Now mind you, I never saw the pink diamond. It just cycled in. So if you wanna be sure you have the pink diamond, I used to do this. You get to here, you look at it, right? But you already had it, so it's not gonna show up. Now you go through the other places, uh, mark down the targets you have. Any paintings in his office by chance. So if you're playing solo, paintings in his office are legit. You can pick those up, so they're actually good. If you're playing with another person to open these doors, you need three piles of gold total in order to fill your bags with just gold. If you do not have three piles of gold, I suggest painting and then gold. If you don't have a painting, I suggest gold and then cash. But make everything revolve around the gold. If you fill up a bag with gold first and then go to get a painting, there won't be enough room for the painting. So get the painting first, then get gold. If there's no painting, get gold and then cash. Or gold and cocaine or gold and something else. The compound doesn't have those things. It usually only has cash and gold. But if you're playing the rest of the island, by all means, you know, pick up whatever you can. Fill your bags. All right, that was it. And because we're good, we have a couple options now. We can be discovered and be back, uh, be, I don't know, kicked in the chest for no damn reason, or because you're still at the airport, you can just run back to your plane and return to the island. So, two reasons you may not want to do it like this. I mean, you may want to do it like this. They're actually opposing ideas. So if you take the plane back, you actually get a tiny bit of RP. So it's actually worth doing this to get the little bit of RP if you're worried about it. The downside to doing it flying back on the plane is that you're going to end up at the airport, not on your sub. So it kills some time, get into your vehicle, blah, 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 all the back. So personally, I find a new session and I'm on my sub and I can start my, my preps and beyond. If you care about RP, while you're playing back and get a little bit of RP on the way. Yay for you, right? All right, but anyway, guys, that shows you the glitch still works, right? When it's August 17th, after the tuners update, uh, the glitch works. It took me just over 20 minutes to cycle from the necklace to the, to, to the diamond. I'm gonna recap all the steps one more time now, vertically, and I'll put it on the screen just to make it clear for you. So, first things first, right? Scope out, get a mission, scope out, find the target that you don't like. Find a new session. Right? After you find a new session, you should show up on your sub if your spawn point is set to your sub. Do another scope out, but cancel the heist before you get to the dot. Complete the scope out, it should be the tequila. Find a new session, get to your sub again, right? Create a save point down here <laughs> after that save point start the heist now here's what's gonna happen target will change to something either you want it or you don't if you want it save your game again call it a day well, it's all over. if it does not come up what you want start over again with this one like go back again right uh, close the game launch the game again start the heist again Mind you, you have 48 minutes to do it from the time Pavel's call comes in, right? When Pavel texts you, it's time to go again. Let me show you that one more time. If I have it on my thing, I don't anymore. You get a, Pavel, a text from Pavel saying, it's time to come back to the table to start the heist again. From that point on, 48 real world minutes, all right? This is all you have to do hard mode. If it takes you longer than that, let's say you come home, you do a heist, you get the text from Pavel, you start the heist in hard mode and then close the game and go away for a while and come back and then try to do the heist. It will not work. 48 minutes from the time you get the text, real world, 
is where hard mode ends. So it's key that you do this when you have time, right? Don't start this and then leave and come back. You have to do this all at once. It took me just about 45 minutes to do the entire thing with all the scope outs and everything. So if you do them back to back, so you now have a locked in pink diamond with whatever targets you wanted, right? Um, if there are any questions, guys, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'll answer them as I get to them. And please drop a like, uh, comment anything, share the video, um, subscribe, all those good things. And check me out on Twitch if you ever want to see me live at uh, twitch.tv forward slash sentinel101, same channel name. And I'll see you guys on the next side.